Hello and welcome. This is Ageless John teaching another Android Studio tutorial. Today we're going to be studying ads. Basically, because we've been looking at the templates, one of the templates you'll notice is something called the interstitial, I believe it's called, uh, mod ad. So we'll be doing that, but on top of that, I will also be teaching you how to add into your app another type of ad called the banner ad, since these two kind of go together. Now, the first thing I'd like for you to do is to create a blank project of any type. But if you're dealing with the Google materials, you actually have to get into the Gradle stuff. So that's what we're going to do. Double click that and make sure it's the module app. And then go down to the very bottom and you see this compile this right here. Put your cursor at the end of it, press enter, and that's where you're going to put your line. Now I'll provide this in the code or you can get this off of the links below uh, in the tutorial material provided by uh, Google Android. But we're going to put this line where that cursor is. There you go. Next you have to add something called an add unit ID. This you put into the strings file. So right hit this the sync now if yours has that hide notification and somewhere in between the resources lines you need to put this line and I'll get rid of this because this is and again you can either get this off my web page or you can get it off of the Google Android site I'm gonna just copy this and put it in here now this is just a generic testing string that they give you so it will actually bring up a generic banner that has of no value it's just there to test so it's not really an ad it just looks like one next you need to go to your activity main XML and you will need to add this line underneath your XML tools and this right here somewhere in the relative layout and there you go for that so we go to the main activity and here we're going to import these two cl classes and add this set of code underneath the activity main inside the curly brackets and there you're done and you can run it. We'll begin to run there'll be a slight pause and then this little ad at the bottom will pop up and that's how you add a banner ad to your apps. Easy peasy. All right now we're going to turn to look at the interstatile ad and yes I, I know I spelled it wrong. I blame it on the dyslexia. Anyway so what I've done is I've created this very simple app. app. It's basically a push a button and it goes between now, the two thing activities. About these, interstatile mods is they're not designed to be used the same way as the little banner mod um, ads. Uh, they're designed to be used when you have a linear ad like pretend like you have a game and at the end of the game you want to play again you push the play again button and in this case we're going to be our new button and up comes your interest because it takes up the entire screen it's um, and I'll leave some links about the best practices that uh, Google Ads has uh, in regards to this particular app um, ad type. And so what we're going to do is we're going to try to install it. So every time we click the new button, which simulates the linearness of our app, uh, an interstatile ad will come up. All right, some prereqs for this. In order to get this to work, you have to have downloaded the Google Play services. Uh, you will also have to include and reference the Google Play Service Library project and you will have to modify uh, the manifest to get this to work properly. SDK, you'll need to go to SDK Tools, Google Play Services, and apply. Yep. And then wait until it installs. Shouldn't take very long. When it's finished, click OK and get back to your main activity. 
Next, we're going to need to add the library to our project. Let's go to File, and we've already done this, so you've been following along. Project Structure, go to Apps, go to your Dependencies, and uh, Add, Library Dependency. And we're looking for Play Services. Click there, click OK. And while I'm here, I also want to install the other one. Play services ads, play services, play services. Okay, all right. Wait till the project sync is done. Now we have to go to the main activity and modify it. You'll notice in the second activity, it's pretty generic. A button on click will load up back to the main activity. But on the main activity, I've uh, put this private void next act down here and put the intent and the load in here so that it gets called up here um, because this is something that's required um, to be used to make it easier for you to understand how the the how the interstitial ad works so what we're going to do is we're going to modify this to work with interstitial first thing we're going to have to do is going to add a new variable so just copy that put it up here and we're going to add this right after the new button all the way down to here button 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 right here add a listener start activity this is going to be actually next act And request new interstitial. Here, this stays red. Uh, return create method request. For some reason I disregarded the instructions, and this right here has to be here. Uh, and for some reason I had deleted it, probably in the hurry to get all this finished. But just take your request and put it right after that. So we add some more code, and this is the public void on click view right here, and then there'll be a curly brace, and right after that curly brace, we do all this up until the next right here. So that includes all this, and when we just put it right after that curly brace, push enter, and then push V. And there should be three curly brackets after this, and then the closing and the semicolon. So there's that. Go back to here. Go down to the next code. The closing of the onclick listener, i.e., the very next, add all of this. So right here, paste this code to here. Add request, alt enter, add request. All right, so alt enter, it's the second one. This next act after uh, the button on click should not be there. And now that you've got this request, new interstitial here, you can get rid of it here because that's a duplicate. And that gets rid of all your red lines. Finish up all that code. Next, we need to work on the manifest. So open up your Android manifest. In your manifest, before the application, you need to put these lines. Here's your application. Now, in the application itself, you'll need to put these lines. And these will all be included on my website as well as ample application, uh, ample uh, documentation is provided in the Android developers site. So we want this in the application. And then after the close of the activity, there's the activity right there. And there we go.
Another thing I missed is this main activity. Initially, I put this here. That's not right. It should be that. Device underscore ID underscore emulator. And that will call on uh, your emulator rather than an actual device uh, that you have to look up in your log cat since mm, that's the default uh, emulator call right there. So use that instead of what I had initially. There. Now that, that should work. Uh, this will request a new instance interstitial and this will return the interstitial uh, if it's available and if not it'll just go to the next act which will be a load the next page but since you just loaded it here it will be available so now we can run it and it should take quite a bit longer than you're used to for uh, this to load all right mine does reload and it will work so new button and there's your full page ad. And there's your next page. Your next page works as normal. And then you click the new button. And there's your ad again. So that's how that works. Um, seems to be a little buggy when using the emulator. I've actually uh, run it several times testing it and uh, one of the times it never even started up. So I don't know what that issue is. but. It does work. Uh, so there's that. Of course, you can click that and go to here. So those are your, are your two ads, uh, your banner ads and your interstitial. You go in here and you add an activity to the module and you create, create a new project and you go to your ads and activity name. You can choose between the banner and the interstitial. So we're going to do the interstitial because we just finished that. And this is what it looks like. One of the reasons that I'm not going to be showing you how these templates it can be changed and things of that nature is because I don't think this is going to be very customizable by most people. It's uh, it's just going to be very difficult for anybody to adapt this to, to their to their particular uh, web pages. And on top of that, it's got this statement right here in the XML. I would like to point out that on the website itself for Ando Studio, it says interstitials are created and configured in an apps Java code they have nothing to do with XML apparently I don't even know why that's there so it's a little confusing uh, this has been ageless John I hope you've uh, learned something and been able to take away a little bit of knowledge especially about ads from this tutorial uh, thanks for joining me come back again don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you around